It's always fun when I get to travel back to Lincoln. It's like returning to the mothership. All the nerdiest welding nerds in one place. I'm out here in Cleveland, Ohio at the Welding Technology and Training Center. I'm here to do hyperfill training and testing and get certified in the hyperfill process. They set me up with a replica of my S500. You know, as a weld inspector, I get a lot of questions, and myself included, I had a lot of questions about how to certify this process or how to qualify somebody in this process. What a better person to help me out with that uh, other than Charlie Cross. I don't like when people question stuff. So let's just prove it out and make sure that it's good. That way nobody has to question it. If you can walk somebody through these steps of a preliminary WPS, procedure qualification record, the WPS, then the welder performance qualification, you're doing a good service to the industry. You're gonna be the first person that we test to hyperfill out of your ATF. Oh, that's cool. So. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So what we're doing with this process is you literally just start at the top and you just work your way through the things that you know. So essentially a preliminary WPS is going to get us started. We have the process listed down there and the transfer mode is a... The preliminary WPS takes our big six, but then we're also checking the items that we need to have addressed in the welding code. For instance, what we need to, to address in D11. We're gonna work our way through using the preliminary welding procedure specification to set the machine. We established the preliminary WPS, and the PQR is essentially the science experiment. Welding procedure is essentially just a recipe to make a weld. So we got our flashlight right here. That recipe needs to be tested out and vetted before we just hand that to a welder and say, hey, you need to run these settings. I did weld up, I think, probably at least six or eight plates before we got the machine set exactly where we wanted and got the results that we were after. Wasn't necessarily the one and done that I wanted, but um, that's okay. We're here to learn. After we realized that we had sound settings, I documented everything that you were doing. A procedure qualification record, we're not gonna have a range on that. It's gonna be your exact settings of what you did. Now to see if we actually passed. This is the fun part. When we were actually able to validate that for a procedure. I'm okay with that. It was a couple macros, right? It should be something that's encouraging to people, especially with a process like Hyperfill, is because it can throw out those rotten bananas. Well, can I do this? Is this good to do? Let's just do a PQR and qualify the procedure and validate that we know that these exact parameters are going to work. Now that we did the PQR, here's your weld procedure specification. You follow that and we're able to qualify and see if you as the human, we're able to make the weld. That's performance qualification. One of the cool parts about going back to Cleveland is there's so much history in that building. The machine that they used to press my weld is one of the original ones that Lincoln had. I just can't even imagine how many plates and coupons and certifications that have been done on that piece of equipment. Oh yeah. And so we want to make sure we have fusion into the side walls. As you can see clearly down here, we have complete fusion into the side walls of the base material right there. By having this whole entire edge melted away, it's showing us that we've made fusion beyond the root. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you passed. Thanks. <laughs> That's great procedure development uh, at work. It's not that intimidating. You can do this. Qualify your procedure, rate a WPS off of it, qualify your welder or the human, build to the code.
getting that kind of access and that behind the scenes clarity into the process and what it takes to uh, certify in this process I think is really important. It's just really a huge level up in knowledge for me and um, I'm like really grateful for the time that they that they give me there.